What is up guys, my name is Paul and welcome back to Swifty Sport SA where today we've got something exciting planned. I'm going to be doing a brake upgrade on my car. We're going to be installing EBC brake pads, green stuff all around on all four corners and we're going to be doing a disc upgrade on the front uh, of the car. You join me today at 011 Performance in the south of Joburg. Um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting day. We'll meet uh, the owner and yeah, let's get stuck into the work. A huge thank you guys to Superior Friction for supplying us with the EBC brake pads and EBC front discs. Check them out, they've got an awesome website, a huge product range from calipers, rotors, pads, you name it. Performance brands guys, um, everything you can think of, the list is endless. Great service, great products and value for money shipped directly to you. Uh, guys, check them out, they're based in Cape Town or just contact them here, link in the description below. What's up guys, what's up Swifty Sport, I'm um, Ashley, uh, Ashley Sook actually, uh, the owner of Owen one Performance out in Johannesburg South, you know what, uh, company starting out, you know, nice small, nice small little company as well, but growing day by day, so anything to do with your cars and your pride and joy, that's what we do. I've always been a BMW guy, so I started my journey with BMW, specializing in BMWs, BMWs, Ford STs, and that's where our forte is, but Let's be honest, you bring a car, a car's basics are about the same. No matter what you do, no matter what you look at, or any upgrades, we all are in the motor industry, we all are in the motor family, we love our cars, we do very similar things, different results at the end of the day. So O1 Performance, we bring in your, uh, your services from anything small and minor, from a, a headlight bulb change, your taillight uh, bulb changes to services, minor services, oil, oil filters, to your major services as well. Um, as well as your engine rebuilds, tuning, performance modifications. Um, we recently just got into aesthetics as well, so if you're looking for a lip or a, or a wing or mirror covers, you know what, we, we're trying to be your one-stop shop. Today brings in a, a little bit of exciting but basic service, uh, brake upgrade on the Suzuki Swift. Uh, uh, obviously guys, you know how important your braking is and if you Going fast, you need to be able to stop fast. So on the Swift today, we're gonna to be fitting uh, EBC brake pads, a nice brake upgrade for any car as well. If you're gonna go, uh, if you're gonna go from a standard to any modifications, the green stuff is highly recommended with EBC brake discs. And in a bit, we'll show you why the brake discs need to be replaced as well. Looking at the brake pads, obviously do a, a small comparison of the brake pads, the parts that you are, are replacing um, to, to necessities to see that it is necessary and why you are replacing it and to make sure that the pad is, or the parts are the right parts. So uh, top view, you're looking at it, you can see um, obviously the difference in the, the pad, the EBC green stuff in comparison to the original. You pick it up to the vertical, uh, you can see the thickness the thickness difference. Minimum minimum spec on any brake pads is about 3 millimeters in comparison to your new pads that uh, they come about 10 to 11 millimeters. So anything under 3 is definite change. Cool guys, so we are all finished with the rear brake pads. Um, something's come up, so we're gonna carry on with the front tomorrow where you'll see us installing the brand new front discs and uh, the brand new front pads. See you then. From the dust, you can see obviously the discoloration. You can see the blue, the silver, the blue, right? And if you run your finger gently on it, especially for us DIY guys, um, you can feel the ridges. You can feel like the the, the little jutter points as well coming through. Uh, coming through a lot of the times, a better way to do it is do a, a measurement thickness and a runout. Generally, your runout is uh, anything more than 0 0.04 uh, millimeters when. And when you turn the wheel, you'll get a shutter or brake shutter. Most of us know that. Um, 
for thickness, minimum thickness of the disc, uh, I see the Suzuki's don't have them. Uh, most manufacturers have a minimum thickness engraved onto the onto the disc itself, but obviously manufacturer specifications. Um, what you can see from the hotspots um, is obviously the the friction points or the uh, the mating points where the brake pad holds and where it releases. So where it's silver, you're getting a lot less friction. Where it's blue is basically where it's, how can I put it, binding. So uneven wear on the disc would cause that brake shutter. So guys, I thought I'd add the reason we went with uh, ventilated discs uh, is because obviously there was no need to go for drilled uh, or slotted discs for this kind of power output on my car. Uh, but these alone are an upgrade from the standard OEM. So yeah, can't wait to fit them. Guys, so we're all done with the car, new discs, new pads all around. Um, yeah, super exciting and can't wait to get this bad boy on the road. Um, just as a recommendation, just to take it easy for the odd, you know, plus minus 200 Ks, uh, you know, just to really get those discs to, to work and, you know, take shape. And uh, yeah, a huge shout out to Ashley from 011 Performance for such great work on the car and another huge shout out to Superior Friction for getting the parts to me so quickly. Um, their links will all be in the description below. Um, check out their socials and please guys don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my uploads. Cool, check you on the next one. Bye.